Hi, and welcome to day two of bassoon, uh, assembling your instrument. So to start off, we should do what I said in day one and soak your reed in water while you're assembling your instrument. First, you get the, bassoon, uh, the boot of the bassoon. This is the boot is where the bottom cap is. And you get your handle and you stick it in here, right here. If your bassoon doesn't have this, cause some people lose it, you could buy this on Amazon for $15. It's just a little handle and you screw it down tight so that it's, it can't wiggle anymore. Next, you get the wing joint. This is the wing joint. It has a little uh, doohickey at the top that like, it has a pad on it. You put that in the hole closest to the handle. And while you're doing this, make sure all your corks are greased. So this is not cork, it's a uh, floss, but it's basically cork. So make sure it's greased, uh, greased up with wax and put it together. So this part is curved right here and you want it to be parallel to this part of the, your bassoon right here, the hole. So this part should be parallel to this part, even though it's curved, it should be like not like it should be parallel, you know? So what you want to do is wiggle it down and never turn this a hundred, uh, even uh, never wiggle this uh, 360 degrees. Some people like turn it all around trying to get it down, but that will break your bassoon and that's that's a waste of like four thousand dollars if you're using the student model bassoon this black piece which is on from the wing joint the top part should be on top of this metal piece that's from the boot joint so this metal piece should be under this top part from the wing joint Alrighty. next we take the long joint it's this long tube that's longer than the wing joint and you put it in well First, you want to know the direction to put it in. So you take, so these, there should be two buttons up here with two buttons here. So here should be on the same side as these four to five buttons. It depends on uh, every instrument you have. There's different types of buttons. And you want to make sure that they're on the same side like that. So it should look something like this. And while you're wiggling it in, make sure that you only do like five to 10 degrees of wiggle. It should be very small. So you'll see me very small. And at the end, you should move this part of the joint, turn it until there should be two plastic tabs on each joint that are close together. Turn this joint until those two tabs touch. Don't overturn it because that could also break the instrument, but they should be touching. Uh, next is a very important part, and this could break your instrument if you don't do it correctly. Um, here, there should be a piece of metal, like a stick, a rod, that connects the long joint to the wing joint. So this is the long joint, this is the wing joint. They should be connected by a stick. And the stick, you just lower it down into a hole. So the stick comes from the long joint, goes into the hole on the wing joint, and you, it should be stable. So now that the stick's uh, locked in, both the wing joint and long joint aren't shaking. If this isn't put in and you, you accidentally like, accidentally hit the bassoon wrong, you could break, you could break this and make it look like um, a wishing bone. And that's, that's, that's just gonna break your instrument. There's, there's no way you could fix that. And that's, it's, it's a dead instrument after that. Uh, lastly, you take your bell, hold down this button while you're putting on, while you're putting it on, right here. This tab should be underneath this tab. So when you're putting it on, it should look something like this. So this tab's underneath this tab. There you go. Uh, lastly, this part. This is called a vocal. This is a very expensive part of your bassoon. This is, for me, it costs $1,200 and you have to take care of it with your life. You have to make sure you put it in your case correctly and make sure you don't bump it and make sure you put it in here correctly. So in order not to bend it, make sure this piece of cork right here is all waxed up. Make sure it's, it's waxed up enough so that you don't have to put a lot of pressure. If you do have to put a lot of pressure, you just have to make sure you're holding it right here, right here, and put it into your instrument. So what I do is I put pressure on here and right here so that I'm not putting pressure here. This pressure, the, putting pressure here will bend your, bend this part. So when you're doing it, wiggle it in by putting pressure on the back two points. I was pointing it out. This point and this point. Put pressure down and just wiggle it back and forth. 
and that's your bassoon all completely put together. Uh, well, actually, the very last part is your reed. What you do is you stick your reed onto the end of your vocal. And it might be a tight fit, it might not be a tight fit, but you just have to wiggle it on as, as delicately as possible so you don't break it. Uh, that's your bassoon all assembled. Uh, tomorrow we'll learn how to hold instrument, which is a whole lesson because it's, it's very important. Okay, bye.